Okay guys, so I'm really not sure what's gonna happen. Big fat Spanish cracker. All right, grenade in the grass. Welcome back everybody to another amazing epic firecracker Saturday video where in this series we test a whole bunch of different firecrackers to see which one is the best and uh, today is a little bit of a different day because well to put things in short we lost uh, a good pet today uh, my pet guinea pig Nutella as she's named has decided to carry on up in the clouds uh, she was put down at the time of the making of this video it was about three or to four hours ago but our family pet has carried on and as a memorial celebration for my pet guinea pig Nutella we are gonna try some awesome firecrackers right here which I will explain in a second however we've also brought another coca-cola with us today so we can burn some more calories we miss you Nutella hope you guys enjoy the video right here we got a triangle cracker by Yorge fireworks partially bigger firecracker right there these ones come in the nice big Chinese strip so it's pretty cool we've got the bison one which is a friend firecracker it's looking a little weathered there and then we've got the demon bola patarda a pool and bola depending on who manufactures them I don't want to get it wrong <laughs> and then we've got the doom boom micro doom boom doom boom nano by classic once again ex2 explosive 2 which is actually crazy because I've only got three firecrackers in this box left Spanish cracker as always these are super fun a couple truenos right there this one's a lot more cleaner it's one of the newer prettier ones and then we've got an m80 firecracker right here with the T on the side of it meaning it has titanium inside it which if you guys were wondering why that firecracker from a couple days ago had a really bright flash to it it is because those particles that are super bright and yellow are indeed titanium particles and they heat up super bright and they're very beautiful effects and fireworks we have got a grenade firecracker right here this is actually one of the first grenade firecrackers I could find and yeah it's definitely going to be really exciting to try as uh, who knows if it has a little bit of smoke before before it goes off. Red flare to titanium salute Torreno Spanish cracker. This one is indeed custom and it looks so cool. Definitely gonna be an amazing firecracker to try. I cannot wait for that one. This one right here, we've got a full stick. M80 firecracker right there. So that will be really cool to try indeed. We've got an extra large XXL Trueno Spanish cracker right there. Hopefully you're doing okay, Coca-Cola. You're not getting too stressed out while I'm showcasing these. And then at the end to top things off, we will do a, a red flare firework so that will be really cool if you didn't see that video guys of where I made those red flares on camera and tested a few of them with a new red flare mix that I tried go ahead and watch that video because if you like flares I guarantee you'll like this one when we try it later so yeah without any further ado let's go ahead and see if we can burn some calories today I think I'm gonna set the coca-cola right there okay we've got a triangle cracker versus coca-cola let's see what happens oh boy <laughs> Oh, there's lots of smoke from that. And the fuse just like stopped burning over here. That was crazy. Whoa, the Coca-Cola has managed to survive. A little bit of scorches right there, but all in all, it's looking okay. Wow, from a triangle cracker, that's a ton of smoke. And next up, we got the Chinese cracker. So let's go ahead and see what happened. Okay, red Chinese cracker versus Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh my gosh. Coca-Cola is surviving so far. Yeah, guys, it's really hard to burn calories. That's why we have the help of fireworks. Here is the Bison one, a French petarda. I wonder what this is going to do right here. Terrible, dud. Oh, well, that one was a dud, so let's go ahead and try the Demon Bola next. This is a huge firecracker, I'm kind of scared. All right, Demon Bola firecracker versus Coca-Cola. Ooh. Okay, okay, not too much damage there. It has still managed to survive. And now we have the Doom Boom Nano by Classic we are gonna try now. And I'm really excited to try these guys because even though these are small firecrackers, you gotta remember, small fireworks are the cheapest fireworks and they will last you a lifetime. Nano Doom Boom. Well, definitely intact. Those don't produce a whole lot of smoke, but you can still see it right there. And now we've got the Micro Doom Boom to try next. In case you guys are wondering, these are Polish firecrackers right there by the flag. And I'm not even gonna try to read that text right there. I can definitely read Doom Boom and that they're simply the best, but that's about all I know. Okay, Micro Doom Boom versus Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's 
smoke ring came right in my face. <coughs> oh, I, I inhaled right as that smoke ring came towards my face, guys. That was so weird. Lots of smoke from that. Ugh. Best wishes, Cyphercraft. EX2 Explosive 2 by Yorga Fireworks. And it's really sad, guys, because we've only got three of these left, but we're gonna make use of them, and we're gonna really treasure these fireworks for today. Okay, Exploder 2 versus Coke. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, that Coke is looking really sappy now. Definitely tons of stress on that lid right there. This is really interesting with explosions because flash powder will always escape which way is easiest outside of confinements. In this case, because it is an open confinement and there's too much to break through on the bottom here, all that pressure just shoots upward. We're gonna burn some calories, Coke. Stop making us fat. Okay, and next up on this scale, we've got the Spanish Trueno cracker right here. We're gonna go ahead and try. This is definitely going to be uh, a little big. Okay, guys, so I'm really not sure what's gonna happen. Okay, Spanish cracker versus Coca-Cola. Oh, no. Coca-Cola, are you still with us? <laughs> it just blew a hole clear down inside of there. Yeah, our Coca-Cola still seems to be fine. It's really too bad that fuse fell off. <laughs> that was a big boom. Super loud firecracker. Yet again, we've got another Spanish cracker that we're gonna go ahead and try to place more precisely on the Coke bottle. Let's go ahead and see what happens and let's hope it doesn't fall off. Spanish cracker. Oh no. the coca-cola bottles begging for mercy now there is a big fat hole right here there's like a crack at the bottom we're gonna try to preserve as much of that coca-cola as possible and uh yeah that right there was a big boom i think we've started to burn plenty of calories today and now we have the titanium m80 firecracker right here this is gonna be really amazing i can't wait to see what happens okay so the lid has finally come off right there now the m80 is just a little bit too wide to fit inside the lid so we're gonna try our best here because we can't fit it inside the coca-cola bottle we're just gonna place it next to it and see what happens all right titanium firecracker versus coca-cola Okay, well, um, I know what I was saying about the Coca-Cola. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I can't find it anywhere. That was a big boom. And, uh, well, we can still light firecrackers off and find as much of it as we can, but that right there was definitely very intense. <laughs> And now we have the Red Flare to Salute Titanium Trueno right here. This one's white and it looks very cool. Best wishes, little buddy. Well, I was definitely hoping that red flare would poke out a lot sooner, but it certainly didn't. Look at how the paper just came undone here, and there is a huge amount of smoke from that. Definitely really impressive. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and try the grenade. And no, I'm not gonna throw it like a real grenade, but we're still gonna try to do some damage as a real grenade would. All right, grenade in the grass. Well, that was definitely just over dramatic. <laughs> Look at all the smoke from that. And now we have the full stick M80 firecracker. It almost looks like a nice little pool of smoke down there. It's so weird. Ooh. Ooh, my gosh. Okay, now just a little education with these kinds of firecrackers, guys. Always make sure you can control which directions the plugs are faced. If they are faced anywhere near you, those caps could come off and shoot you in the eye, and that would not be good at all. So hopefully this is pretty safe. Here goes an M80 full stick firecracker. I 
got dirt all in my face. There is dirt all over my hands right now, and it is not nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that definitely blew a really big hole. And there's dirt like all over my face right now too. It's insane. That right there was a firecracker. I really wish you guys didn't just have the camera scale of that hole right there. This is my hand going inside the hole. It is so big from that cracker. There's mud all over my jacket. And if I didn't already say this, all over my hand, which I've got to get off. Well, you guys excited for the red flare firework? I am too. Let's go ahead and do the Trueno Spanish cracker. And this should be pretty epic. All right, best wishes, big fat Spanish cracker. I can't breathe, that thing was so big. Oh my, wow guys, I think I just broke a rib or two. <coughs> there is mud all over the place from that explosion. That was a firecracker, Oh! <laughs> you can actually see right there how it like ripped open from such a violent explosion. Okay, well while you guys are still watching, let's go ahead and do this red flare next. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, here we go. Don't worry, it won't explode. Or will it? Oh yeah, that is a beautiful flare. I wonder if I'm like super careful right now. Look at that. That right there is so epic. Red flare firework. It's not supposed to be handheld, but it is super cool. Be sure to check out my tutorial guys for making those flares. They are very beautiful fireworks. Here it goes. Rocket fuel. <laughs> Now that right there is rocket science, guys. Look at the smoke it's producing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I know you've probably already clicked off the video now, so don't, don't watch the rest because I'm really going, because I'm gonna announce something really important. Uh, tomorrow there will be a video about black powder coming out, so that should be cool. And yeah, Always be safe with fireworks, guys. I will see you next time. And this was one heck of a trip.